Welcome to Mark's Motorsports and Farming Channel. Today is April 22nd and and in today's video we are going to be greasing the corn planter. And like I said in the video where I oiled, oiled the chains, the only reason that they see the wing wheels the wing wheels down like that is is because we wanted to see where the hydraulic leak was coming from that we encountered last year which is now fixed so so one, once this planter is greased he'll, he'll be ready to go so with that being said let's get started here is one that, that I've had to wait with in the past because the way that the way that we normally park it we we can't get to it, but being I being I said it this way before we started looking into the hydraulic leak, I'm able to get to that circ.
trying to get the blurriness to go away here. <laughs> There we go, now it's better. And just like that, the corn planter is greased up and ready to go. So, uh, more, more people, more uh, farmers are starting to get into the fields a little heavier in in this area, which, and we have been too, you know, getting fields ready for fertilizer to be spread and that's where we're at right now with you know determining how how soon we could we can get wheat and corn planted is uh, we're, we're waiting for the fertilizer to get spread on and then and then once that's spread on then then we'll cultivate it into the soil and and start putting crops in the ground. And, uh, sounds like, you know, tomorrow or, you know, maybe even more like, you know, day after tomorrow. You know, when, when the co-op will be able to come out to the two farms and get fertilizer spread and but now but now Friday they're talking about a you know pretty pretty good chance it might rain and uh, 
I certainly hope they're wrong on that and so I'd So I did, even if it even ends up being Friday rather than Thursday, then then we can still work the fertilizer into the ground and get crops planted. But but, but if it does rain and and we end up in into a wet pattern for too long, then then what it could come down to is that. This planter might might have to sit a little bit longer, and then I'll and then to where I'd pull this planter out here and, and get some of the start planting soybeans while, while I'm while I'm waiting for uh, number well number one I wouldn't be able to do that with wet ground either, but but. But if the weather wouldn't end up, you know, setting it back enough to, you know, where the spreader wouldn't be able to come out here, then then that that would be an option. And there there was at least one other year where where we've had to plant soybeans before corn, but you know, we we try to avoid that that scenario as much as we can, but. It, it would be an option just to just to start having crops in the ground, or you know, if it, it would come to that worst case scenario. But that's that's where we're at now. Is that you know, our, our Our fields are waiting for fertilizer to get spread on them so that they can get planted. You know, I'll, like I said, you know, cultivate the fertilizer into the soil and then and then plant the crop. With that, I thank you guys for watching my videos. I'll cert I certainly appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed this video, getting the corn planter greased and, and ready to get out in the field once once the field at home here is fertilized and and the fertilizer is incorporated into the ground. And then, um, I will still bring you as much um, footage as I can, whether it's you know field work or anything related to farming right now, since so thank you guys for watching my videos. I certainly appreciate that. Be sure to click on the like button and be sure to click on the subscribe button if you haven't already. And then once you're subscribed, then be sure to click on the bell and you'll get notified whenever a new video gets posted to the channel. Be sure to follow Mark's Motorsports Sports and Farming channel on Facebook as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you later.